Welcome. This is going to be a righteous solo backpacking catch, cook, and camp. My plan is to fish this gorgeous mountain river. And I am so glad you're coming along with me. Scats, I think it might be a bear. Not too old, it's got some hair in it. This looks promising. What a nice place for my tent right up there in the trees. Logs for me sitting and cooking. This is where I'm gonna do my camping for the night. bring this syringe and I've duct taped it and this is what I back flush my water purifier with every single time I use it. Oh that was dirty. And then obviously I sleep with it in my sleeping bag because the water filter freezes. It's no good. Mountain house spaghetti tonight. Bon Appetit. Mm, it's late, so I'm going to finish my dinner, put the bear bags up the tree. Good morning. Overnight low, 35 degrees. Very nice. I'm ready to go fishing and hopefully do some catching. Beautiful little trout. That is a beautiful little fish. The biggest one I've caught so far. Fish have been catching a brown trout. Beautiful fish. trout, olive oil, Zatarain's fish fry, crisp southern. Doesn't that look yummy? So the fish are done and are ready to eat. I like the oil flavor. That is quite delicious. Brought something that I've never brought before. Freeze-dried spinach. I have no idea how this is going to taste. But I'm going to put some ghee in there. Just put it in boiling water and let it sit. Looks like spinach. Tastes like spinach. My good. It's the start of a new day. I'm going to be backpack hiking up the trail and find myself a new camp in the water.
I think if I hike down through the woods right here, there's a flat spot where I can make camp. And there are not very many here in this canyon. That looks like coyote to me. Doesn't look like I'm the only one that had this idea. alone in these remote mountains I'm experiencing an intense joy. <sighs> High 20s last night. It's frozen solid right there. Out for more adventures in my fisherman's life. Small wild brown trout. Gorgeous red dots all over. Let me put this one back. I think this is a giant brown for this river. Sure beautiful. Look at those orange dots. Alright, beautiful fish. Nice little brown. Look at all those red dots on there. For some good eating. A really nice fillet off of that fish. Back to fishing. Pretty good day. Caught seven, kept three, all of them were brown trout. The biggest one I caught was 12 inches, and I had a 14 inch rod. It was a good sized fish. I couldn't land it. The dredge for this evening is the Cajun's Choice Blackening and Panko Japanese Coconut. Should be interesting. Fish today, I'm going to use a little meat. Gives it a real nice flavor. And then olive oil. Very, very crunchy. That's panko. I do you taste the blackening. And just a hint of coconut. Very, very yummy. Now the worst part, cleaning up. <laughs> it's a very, very peaceful forest, and I'm enjoying myself greatly. Good morning. Are you up for some more epic outdoor adventure? Good, because I'm hiking up this amazing river and trail looking for my new place to continue exploring.
top one there. That's a baby cat. Probably a little baby mountain lion. Because right over here, that's mama cat. It has four toes and then a pad there. First patch of snow of this trip. One big mean pile of bear cats. That's a pretty good sized animal, we'll laid that down. Some alpine area here. Oh, this is gonna make for a great camp. I'm gonna have to be really careful though with my fish fry because that black bear is just a quarter mile down the river. I'm camping at 9,750 feet above sea level. Dinner tonight is Heather's Choice grass fed beef shepherd's pie. I don't think I'm gonna buy it again. I bought two of them. I mean, it, it's okay, but it just doesn't hydrate very well. The fact that the bear is within a quarter mile of my camp creates a little bit more intensity for me to bear proof things. My camp is a hundred yards that direction. The bear is that direction, is where I saw him. So if he comes up here due to the smell of my food, he'll stop here, hopefully. The sun has set, so I'm gonna say good night. Not the lunker I was hoping for. That one got away. Hmm. Finally caught the rest of my supper. This is the second fish that I've landed. I've been working hard today. Boy, that is a beautiful brown. Holy cow. Those dots. I've never seen dots like that. They're not even round. Done fishing for the day. I hike on back to camp. That is a forest fire on the other side of the mountain. As long as the wind goes east, which is the way the camera's pointing, I'm okay. But if it comes west towards me, so I'm gonna have to watch this like a hawk. The wind's kind of shifted and coming back this direction. It was going east and now it's coming west. I was planning on doing nine days in the wilderness. We'll see. I'm at my camp. And the wind, from what I can see the clouds doing, going kind of that direction. 
but it's getting really, really close. I think I need to pack up and head down river or it's not such a threat. I got three hours until sunset, so about four hours till dark. I think I'm beyond where the fire is. I'm traveling at about 2.8 miles per hour. I've moved about 1.3 miles and the sun is just about ready to go behind the mountain. So I'm doing pretty good. Now I have a little bit better vision of to the east and I am not ahead of the fire. It is actually leading me. It's moving quick. Okay. Well, I know what I got to do though. Okay, this is the same fire but a different section of it. It's further down than the other one. So there's an active fire up by where I was camping and now there's an active fire down here. Holy crap. So I'm down to now the main river. Look at that. Serious business. I'm moving right along. Now this is going to be all the way down to my vehicle. I have a feeling. Ominous feeling hiking through smoke. I hope I can get out of here. I still have a car. But I can actually smell fire now. Not just smell smoke. But I got a whiff of fire. Oh, I'm very happy. The car's still here. The Camino Real Ranger District is now closed due to extreme fire danger. Please exit and close the gate behind you. <laughs> What's really interesting about today, five hours ago, I was planning on staying another three days. We'll talk later about the trip. Now that I'm out of harm's way, let's have a chat about the crowning events of this excursion. My favorite aspect of the river was the pools. The water was crystal clear, and when the sun shined down through the water, it would hit the rocks on the bottom of the river, and they were just brilliant. My top camp was my final one, the one that was near the meadows and its proximity to the river. Beautiful. Next, the forest. It had many different types of trees, thus providing a very interesting contrast of colors. I like backpacking on trails that have gradual inclines, and that's what this area has. The fishing, I would say, would be average, smaller fish, though great colors. The utmost stimulating photographic moment was on the fifth day. The shot was from on the trail looking down at the meandering river with its beaver ponds, pools, and waterfalls. It almost looked like a painting. The showstopper was the black bear. To see one is rare, and to catch one on video is even more so. So when it did happen, it seemed a bit surreal. That will wrap it up. I want to thank you for coming along with me. So, until next time.